Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Jackie, and welcome to another video. So for this week's video, I have a very exciting one for you guys. I'm going to be doing a get ready with me for Valentine's Day. Today is the 14th of February, so it is exactly Valentine's Day. The day you're watching this is the week after, but... That is okay. We can still get those Valentine's Day vibes. So I'm not exactly sure what the plan is for today. I asked my boyfriend to plan it just because I love planning things personally. So I was like, hey, I'm not going to plan anything for this Valentine's Day. If you want to do anything, just plan it. If you end up not planning anything, then I'll just make the plan at the end of the day. But he did end up making a plan. So we're going to go ahead and go with what he says today. So the only thing he really told me was that he's gonna pick me up at 3.30 today. It is currently 12.59, so it is almost one. And I also need to go out like 2.15 to run some errands, so I need to be ready before then. And the other thing I asked him was what should I wear because I don't wanna overdress or underdress or anything. And he said just to wear something that's like casual and relaxing, and I was like, okay. So that basically calls for leggings and like a comfortable top. So that's what honestly I'm gonna end up wearing. I'm probably gonna pop in some jewelry though just because I wanna feel complete and cute at least. So I'm gonna go ahead and put on my outfit, do my hair, and then probably do my makeup on camera for you guys. Hair always takes too long for me though, so I am gonna do that off camera. But the rest of it, you'll see the process of me getting ready. So the first thing I'm gonna do right now is just get on some clothes. Just because I am wearing my pajamas right now and I don't want to wear this there. So that's basically what I have going on right now. Don't mind my shirt being wet. I was just washing my face and brushing my teeth. So I just have a sweatshirt on right now, some shorts, some socks, and my fake burks and a scrunchie. So let's go ahead and just get out of this outfit and into something a little more cute. Ready? Let's go. Alright, so this is what I decided to go with for my Valentine's Day outfit. So my, for my top, I just have this red scoop top here from Hollister. I did crop it myself because it was a little too long for my liking. And then for bottoms, I have these gray leggings here. Not sure where they're from, but I got them for my birthday a while back. But they're just really nice and comfy, and I did cuff them at the ankles. And then for shoes, I have my white high tops here from Converse. So just really simple and easy. And I think just to throw on top of it, I'm going to wear my fluffy brown jacket. Just because it is a little cold outside, cold for a Californian. And that is basically my outfit of the day. I'm going to go ahead and do my hair real quick just because I feel like that takes a little long and it's going to be a lot of footage. And then after that, I'll go ahead and do my makeup and show you guys the process of that. So let's go ahead and do my hair and I'll get back to you guys in a second. All right, you guys. Oh my God, there you go. I just straightened it all out. And I put a scrunchie in it for that half up, half down look. And since we're going for that simple and casual, relaxed type of look, also this is really itchy, so that's why it's red. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and do a simple, natural look today. Just because I don't want to go all out, you know, when I outfit is super casual as well. Alright, so starting out with the lips, I'm just gonna put on some lip balm, which is the little tart lip balm here. I love this stuff so much. I'm gonna have this on. It is also currently at 148, so I have around like 20 something minutes to get ready, which should be more than enough time right now. So I put on that lip balm, and now we're gonna move on to some primer. I'm just gonna put on some e.l.f. Little Mineral Infused Primer here. I love this stuff as well. It's super cheap, and it really just fills your pores and makes them look good. So basically, I'm gonna finish up my makeup and then I need to go get some gas because my gas is running low. I need to head over to Dollar Tree to get some things for my dad's Valentine's gift for my mom. And then I need to head over to Starbucks to go get my boyfriend a Starbucks just because I feel like that'll add on to the gift. And it'll be super nice. I'm planning on getting him a caramel frappuccino because he likes those. Pretty sure I have it written down my notes anyways, so. But once we have that primer down, I'm gonna put on some concealer. I'm gonna put on the Instant Age Rewind here from Maybelline. I love this stuff as well. And I'm gonna go in with just this little, like, dense, I think it is, this dense brush here just to go ahead and blend it all out on my face. Once again, I don't exactly know what we're doing. I have a feeling, because right a couple days ago, he said we're not really, like, gonna go anywhere. So I was like, okay. So I'm pretty, I feel like I have a feeling that we're gonna do something at his house, and I feel like we're gonna make food and watch a movie, but I don't know. I, like, have a feeling that's the plan. But we'll see, you know? So we have all the concealer here. It is currently February, which means graduation is so soon, which is freaking crazy. Like this entire year is going by so fast and I just can't believe it, you know? I honestly remember being like elementary school and middle school and being like, wow, high school graduation is so far away. Like 2020, like that's so far away. Like, man, why can't I come faster? But time has really sped by, which is freaking crazy, you know? When you're enjoying life, time and life just goes by really fast. It's kind of sad, but you know, 
next thing you know, I'm gonna be an adult. But I'm excited for what life has to offer. Also, my birthday is really soon too. My birthday is in April. I am turning 18 finally, so the adult age. I mean, there's not really much you can do besides like get a tattoo and voting, which I'm really excited to do. I can't wait to put my voice out into the world. Some 18 year olds are really like, they don't really care too much about voting, but personally, I wanna make as much of a difference as I can and voting is like the closest thing to trying to make a difference, you know? If you don't vote, like you can't complain, you know? My birthday's on a Thursday this year. The Friday, which is the next day after it, I wanna go to karaoke with a group of friends. Not all of my like my super close friends, but people that I like to hang around, you know? And how happy I have in this 18th year of life. And we're just gonna go do some karaoke, which is gonna be really fun. And karaoke is really just my happy place. Quite honestly, I love karaoke. And even if I don't sound good, as long as I'm having a good time, that's all that matters. Now I'm gonna go ahead and set it down with this Fit Me powder here from Maybelline. And of course, it is gonna look a little bit over powdery right now. That's why I love setting spray, because setting spray really makes that powdery look go away. Also, Valentine's Day this weekend is on a four day weekend, which is so fun. So once we have that done, I wanna touch up my brows a little bit. So I'm gonna be using my new little brow product I bought. It's the same exact one I always use, but I got a new one of it just cause my other one was all crusty and dried up. So it is just the Milani little brow color here. I love this stuff so much. Let's go ahead and just dip into it. Oh, that's so nice. It's so smooth. <laughs> Also something exciting happening soon is that I am going to finally hear from all of my decisions for schools that I applied to. So that means my college decisions, reactions, video is gonna come out soon. I've heard from a majority of my schools so far. I love watching these videos it's a couple grades back, you know, and like every single year. So it's finally exciting to have one of on my own up there. And it's just realistic reactions from me. I didn't wanna set too high of standards for myself and I'm really glad that I did because then I won't be as heartbroken if I don't get into certain schools, you know? Sorry if the angle changed, my camera just said to stop on me because I didn't have enough space on my SD card, but I deleted a whole bunch of stuff, so now we're back. And I forgot where I left off. Okay, I think I just finished up my brows. So now we're gonna move on to some bronzer. But I'm gonna go ahead and go into this Ulta Beauty Highlight in Bronze little duo. I love this stuff so much. I'm gonna be so sad when it runs out. I'm gonna go ahead and first dip into it with this little contour brush here. Add some shading to my face just because I don't wanna look so wondering. So I was gonna say one directional, so one dimensional. And then also because I am wearing it on my forehead, I'm gonna put contour on my forehead. If I only put powder, I look so washed out on my forehead just cause your forehead is naturally darker than the rest of your face. So I'm gonna take this little crease brush. It is hella like colored pink, but whatever. I'm gonna dip that into the bronzer. Put that in my crease. And then to add some more color, I'm gonna put on some blush. This is the Wet n Wild color icon in Mellow Wine. Love this stuff as well. The cap did fall off, <laughs> but I love this shade. It looks so good on the cheeks and like so felt like so natural, you know. And now I'm gonna add some highlighter just to look a little glowy as well. I'm gonna take my Morphe 510 brush here, and then I'm gonna take the Bon Voyage little highlighter here. Love this as well. It's another sample. I had two samples, so I'm using the second one now. And she gave one to me. Yeah, and I'm gonna put that on my cheeks. You can't wait. <laughs> And now I'm gonna put some on my nose. And then I'm gonna take a smaller little elf brush here and use that for my inner corners. And then just to set that all off and make it look less powdery, I'm gonna take the elf makeup mist and set and just spray that on my face. There you go, that just, it makes the powdery look go away, which is really nice. Hi, puppy. My puppy's here, he's so cute. And now that I am done with all the face makeup, I'm gonna just finish up my eyes. And this is my favorite part of the makeup process. Mascara makes loads of a difference. So I'm using the little Essence Lash Princess Mascara here. Love this stuff so much. After I curl them, I just run through it with a spoolie. All right, there we go. Now we're gonna put on the mascara. And there we are. So there is the finished makeup look. Really looks nice and natural, which I love. And also just to finish up the look, I'm gonna go ahead and put on some jewelry. I'm gonna put on these little charm bracelets here. One of them is from my dad, which is a little daughter one here. And then I have two from my boyfriend. I have a J one from him and a cute little bouquet of flowers from him. So that's what I'm gonna wear. I'm also gonna wear my little San Benito bracelet here as well, just cause it also matches the red and it's good luck. 
And then also my ears, just so it doesn't look so plain. I'm gonna put on these little pearl earrings. They're super cute. I'm gonna pop that on in three, two, one. There we go, I have all my jewelry on, just the earrings and the bracelets, and that's basically gonna be it for this week's video and Valentine's Day get ready with me. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'm looking forward to having a good day with my boyfriend. I love you all so, so, so much, and I'll catch you guys in next week's video. Bye, cuties!